found floating face down in a canal near Sheridan Street and North 26th Avenue. Hollywood police telling Local 10 a dive team is headed to the scene to assist in this investigation. No word on how the person will bring you updates as they come into the newsroom. So I was out getting my antigen test and I was heading back to the house and I saw a little notification that there was a body found um, on 26 in Sheridan, which is a couple blocks from Ankle Nature Center. And it's, it's curious. It makes me curious. So I'm going to go, I'm just driving over there to take a look. Might not see nothing. Supposedly they're getting some dive teams. It's interesting because I've been under several of the bridges over there with regards to no whammy, but there's a bunch of other missing people too. And it could be anything because by now, all this time, a body just popping up, it might be probably something recent, unless some, you know, unless it was being held underwater or something like that. I also think about Leila Cabot. I always think about Leila Cabot. There's one bridge uh, before 95. I've never been under this one. I've been under the one right at Ankle Center, and then there's one before that I've been under. So, I, uh, I somewhat know this area. The, the canal, see, I wanted to, let me see if I can take this back. I've actually been in this complex here before. And so I know there's a way you can go all the way to the back and park. And, uh, and from there I can go on foot. I don't have much time today to do anything crazy. So I think this is the canal. Pretty, I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100%. But this is another easy access point because anybody can pull up in this apartment complex. It's completely open. So I don't think it's exactly this one because from the picture, it looks a little different. So I was definitely at the wrong bridge. Uh, I believe because it's 26, it runs along to Oakwood Plaza shopping center with a bunch of different stores, some restaurants, and this hotel, which this place at night is super dark. I mean, unless they changed it, unless they put more lights here. The times I've been here, especially this road right here, is dark. You also have 95 right around the corner. So it's a highly trafficked area because of the highway and because it's a shopping center. But this place here is gated off. The gate off area stops a little bit by that U-Haul truck and then it's open, but it's super thick and dense. The thing with bodies too, just because you found a body in the water doesn't mean it was placed right there. A lot of the times with the current and stuff, the body flows down. But I mean, you gotta think about it. This is a hotel, it can be accessed, and this whole area can be accessed at any time. Uh, but looking at the image that the news posted by the railing and stuff, there's two. There's only two bridges in this plaza. So it's either this one or the next one. And this is along 26. And this is gated. I believe this is the bridge. Oh yeah. See police? I'm in the right area. That is, oh yeah, they're walking along. It's the right bridge. You got the hotel there. You got a bunch of stores and everything on the other side. Weird and crazy that body was found here. The movie theater's right there. Or unless the water body was dropped down from there and flowed down here. There's also people, you know, could be anybody with a boat, but they're over there working. I'm sure they removed the body already. This is maybe like some sort of dive team. This is what the area looks like. It's just a normal, busy area, but there's super sketch areas around here too. I mean, we're literally right outside this uh, thing to the main road is kind of sketch. Definitely didn't come prepared. Ah. These little things are, ooh, 
I'm actually bleeding. The extra spiky. That was just for me taking a few steps into the dense area. I was somewhat inclined to walk up and ask something, but I don't want to say I'll be like, who the f are you? You know? That's, that's the cop boat. Uh huh, it's a little boat for the cops. See, by here by the hotel, there's openings where you could just do whatever. There's a tire, shopping cart. This is the hotel side. I mean, anybody, any time of the night can pull up to a place like this, it's a lot quieter. I'm going to check out the other side, but anybody can pull up and just dump a body. Yeah. See, this kind of goes down there. See, anybody can park back here. One, two. There's something off in the water. I wonder about the other side though. There's gators here? You think so? Huh? Oh, by else or This is weird that this goes back like that. I should at least carry a stick with me or something. This kind of reminds me of, you remember that one time that we went together in that area that we thought was empty and it was like a homeless place in the woods? Where I'm walking right now, it kind of looks like that. But you know what, to what I see, a lot of the there's trees here that have been turned to this, like, fell out of, out of root. Like, they've been, by the weather and the rain, all these trees have fallen to the side. I wonder if that body's recent, or because of the weather lately, it's just come undone now. To me, it looks like all this came out. This was on purpose. It looks like all this has fallen in, man. And this keeps going. The area that I'm going, there's just, I keep going. I'm way past the hotel. You see where I'm at? My phone on the map. Oh, I'm on the. I'm with you on the phone. Hold on a second. Oh wow, this is where I'm going now. Towards the ale house and Home Depot. Oh, I think that's the police. Bro, the police, I think they're here. <laughs> I think they're in the boat. Somebody just drove by in the boat. Yeah, I think the police just drove by in the boat. Oh bro, I think they might be a up here. Do you know the weird thing about I think there's an encampment up here. There's a boat here too. There's a boat. What the I'm recording. Oh another spider web. I just I'm afraid to run into the cops. And these people think that I'm the one that's did it, you know, that I'm out here. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. How you doing? I didn't mean I'm to. I'm good, I'm good, good. Okay. I'm fine, buddy. Okay. I was just kind of exploring because there was a body found. What? Did you know that? Yeah, like right across by the bridge. Really? Yeah, yeah. And there's cops. They're kind of going back and forth. So I was just kind of exploring down here. Body was found. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> and you're right here. <laughs> Be careful, man. Yeah, that's scary. 
This is a nice spot though. Yeah. Can I just hang over here and lay down for a You'd be surprised where these bodies just pop up sometimes. Holy shit. Yeah. That's weird. Are there alligators out here too? No, I don't think no? so. No? Oh, okay. Does this go further or that's it? No, it goes way down. Alright, I'm kind of curious to keep going down. Yeah, it goes, uh, it goes quite a way. There's a path to walk all the way down? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna walk a little bit further then. Man, that's scary. Yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt you, man. No, it's okay. I usually no. just kind of go veering off. There was an There's another place by A1A, by the beach lot. Yeah. It's kind of like this where it just goes deep, deep in, and then I, I found people out there too. Oh, yeah. I know just that chilling. Spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's they a nice have spot. A lot of tents and stuff yeah, yeah. There. Yeah, super nice spot. It's just quiet and chill. Yeah, yeah I just stopped over here in my boat. Yeah. Right, right, right. That is weird, man. Bro. I'm kind of scared. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of like just cautiously walking. But they're on the other side. They're not on this side. They're like on the other side of the canal. Okay. And I, I think they're ready to remove the body, but they're I saw like a boat. I think they're kind of going back and forth. You know, I don't Thanks. know. Uh, <laughs> I probably should be out of here. Add something to it. <laughs> All right, man. All right, yeah, no problem. Hello. On the phone in case, <laughs> just in case some shit happens, they track this shit down. All right, you hear me? The melody. Oh, but a look. Okay. There's a car. Maybe that's the cops. You can pull up on either side. Either side of the canal. I don't know what that says. Damn, I only have half battery. He's getting his boat and he's leaving, dude. That's it. He's leaving now. I told him that. He's like, oh, yo, I'm kind of like, let me get out of here. But this thing really does go all the way down. Let me see where I'm at. From the hotel up this bank here, I encounter the encampment. The guy has his own boat, which is kind of weird. I mean, not weird that he has a boat, but the spot. And he's like, I'm getting out of here after I told him about the body. I shouldn't have even said anything about the body, to be honest with you. I should just, hey, I'm just exploring. But this really does go down. This part is a little bit blocked. I'd have to climb to get over this. Oh, you know what? I can go around. Let me do that. Yeah, this side works. Make it down faster. This area? Let's see where I'm at. Alright. Focus and get through. This does look like an area that would have some sort of animals or something. But this has so much access to all like water, intercoastal area, different boats. Anybody could pull up anywhere. <clears throat> what the hell 
hell is this? Out of shape. Bro. <laughs> this was way down. That guy told me he knows about the other spot too. But look at this. Like we were talking about dude the other time. There's people like with like that with little boats just in and out anytime. I only brought one battery out. Thought I was gonna be just a quick. Yep, I'm halfway down. So I'm trying to move a little faster. Nothing, you checked everything, no updates? Walk back, oh my god. I only saw one, unless it's the second bridge. I, I passed the first, I look only looked at the first bridge, maybe it's the second bridge. Definitely got my exercise for today. Bro, this still goes. Oh my God, <laughs> this is crazy. I encountered a tree that has wooden pieces going across it like a ladder to climb up all the way to the top of the tree. Yeah, but there's nothing up there. Maybe, maybe to see. I bet you there must be people like that just live off the grid. Don't gotta worry about nobody, people, police. Busting my ass. No bills, nothing. You can get high if you want to. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of peaceful out here too. It's just so quiet. Creeping me out. <laughs> Bro, this is the weird. I feel like I'm on an episode of Lost. <laughs> one one battery left. Next time, always carry extra batteries. You never know. Beautiful here though. But I think this shit takes a while, right? Huh? Those things that do take a while. Yeah, to like identify, find details. 
on the map. Holy. I'm going to have to call it. I can't go any further because it's just too much right now. Might have to come back here one day and explore. This is crazy, dude. As I was walking, uh, my feet, my shoe felt like sunk into a hole. All the ground here is soft, very wet. It's very peaceful out here, but it's also eerie. Especially that I encounter somebody out here. You know, you go through something like this, you might not even think to expect anybody out here. I came from all the way down here, the hotel area, up here. I think I'm going to have to call it for today, though, because I do have plans. I have things, and i got to get back to Maddie. And this is a whole thing of land that could go on for a very long time, but it extends to another bridge. And so I'm going to plan to come back. But right now, especially without my gear, I'm going to call it. And uh, I'm going to call somebody on the phone. <sighs> Just in case... So my, uh, they can, in case anything happens, my GPS location, my, my the battery on my phone is actually charged. But uh, I only did jump rope today thinking I'm not going to get enough exercise and I took. Heard something loud in the water. Yeah, I got a long way to go back. Very long way. So... I'm afraid to encounter that person too that he seemed kind of freaked out as much as I am. <laughs> but this is definitely something for an adventure. I wanted to check out the oh crap and webs everywhere. I wanted to check out the other side, but there's not enough time. So oh, oh that's a squirrel. Oh no, that's a bird. <laughs> Bro, when you see things moving in the distance, but there's so much brush and it's just like a little, you're like <gasps> Let me show you this real quick. Super easy to trip, fall, hurt yourself anywhere around here. Oh, God, them webs. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a big-ass spider. That's what they call banana spider. Go a different way. Something with me. This is like a dead end too, kinda. That extends out too. Gotta head back though. Stuffed animal. You wonder what a stuffed animal is doing all the way out here. Maybe it washed up. Maybe it didn't. Maybe somebody was living out here. And that's how that stuffed animal got here. Looks like woman clothes. Hey. Phone's, uh, so camera's about to die, so let me just get on my cell phone. Be on the phone on the way out of here. For safety. I'm recording from my phone, but, uh, just the weird stuff I've encountered out here. It's really interesting. Battery's dead. And I've been staying on the phone with somebody while I'm out here just in case. Because I didn't bring anything. And uh, something happens out here. Not many people are going to hear you. That boat across is where the guy was. That's the guy's boat that I encountered out here. And when I told him there was a body, he dipped out to the other side. Um, down further there, you're going to see on the camera. Or if you haven't seen it already, or, or you have. That's where I encountered a, a stuffed doll and a backpack with what looked like to be woman's clothing. Uh, and yeah, let me get back on the phone, but I'm gonna come back here next time, maybe with an extra person. Just, not even just for anything, you know, but I just like exploring and the fact that this shit goes way, way, way out there. I'm kind of curious to see what we'll find. This is on my phone again since uh, battery's dead. But this is the other side of the canal. That's the bridge. I went along that entire side. 
just for exploration purposes. I just I like to do that kind of thing. But I think the body may have been found in this area here. I saw cops in the scuba gear here, but then I also think they were further down. There's one more bridge down there I didn't get to check out. This is where I was standing with the camera on that side looking this way. And that's the bridge I was standing earlier. And then from that entire side is what you saw with the with the camera. But that entire side extends so far out, I never knew that entire thing was connected. And so I'm definitely gonna do a little, plan a little trip. Just a quick recording. This is the parking lot. And I'll show you on the map if I like. I think I'm gonna live stream this. I'll show you on the map, but anybody at any point can pull up at this this place during the night. You know what I'm saying? Or even during the day, really. But at any point, just pull up in this back area, open access to everybody, and do what you gotta do. There, there's endless possibilities. That's why, I mean, I'm sure when it comes to the, you know, the experts or the forensic people or law enforcement, to figure this kind of stuff out, sometimes is like a needle in the haystack. You know, you could just pull up anywhere. I mean, it's a really beautiful area, but you really could and can just pull up anywhere. About the ale house here. Sorry, the camera's, the angle's not great. You see, this is, I think, the other side. Let me just show over here real quick, and then we'll call it for today. You see the boat? I think it's, oh, I think this is the guy's boat. If anybody can pull up on this side. This is the other side of where I was at. That was a canal. That goes all the way down there. I mean, it's it's super, super far down. You know? So, it's just what the other side looks like. Not to come back another day to explore. But yeah, far, far down. I want to take a quick picture of this vehicle, but I don't know if the guy's inside. I don't want to make him uncomfortable. But the guy that had the boat on the other side, he literally took his boat and he crossed back to this side. Let's see real quick. It's a Ram 1500, that's the boat in the back. But uh, yeah, it doesn't mean anything. Just because he was there, doesn't mean nothing, you know what I'm saying? But it's oh, another web. Oh. It's always interesting encountering people when you're out in a place that feels desolate. Like these, that's how it is a lot of, uh, here in Florida. A lot of the places you could literally go off the road and start walking, start walking, and from a, from a place that's super busy with a lot of people, it's empty and creepy, and you feel completely alone and so because i encountered that guy and i thought the place was super spooky and a body was just found i was like let me just stay on the phone i didn't bring nothing with me because my initial plan was i'm just gonna take a quick peep oh that's the bridge okay but knowing i should know myself better <laughs> to know that it's not just gonna be a quick little oh, all right bye yeah yeah, yeah it's the bridge nah bro <laughs> we're going on a whole lost adventure but i want to come back I want to come back definitely for sure i'm gonna come back with some gear i think it'll be dope to go check out further and further down and you never know what we might find man you never know what kind of secrets or whatever might be out in some of these places all right all right